You aren't supposed to do that. Now we wake up. Go, 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 go. Ah! The city of Chihuahua in northern Mexico. Home to struggling basketball team El Palomar. Made up of women from the Taramara tribe. Each year they compete in a specially organized indigenous league. But with full-time jobs and children to take care of, the team had no time to practice. Have never been coached. And have little idea of rules or positions. This season, they've only won one game, and in four years, have never made the league playoffs. However, this year they don't have to go it alone. Hoping to transform their fortunes as Olympic gold medalist Cara Walters. Cara was part of the US national women's basketball squad for four years, during which she achieved Olympic gold at the 2000 Games in Sydney. It was one of the best experiences of my life. She's now in Chihuahua, hoping to impart her knowledge to the team. I hope that they welcome me and they're excited that I'm here. I'm sure they're a little nervous, just like I'm a little nervous. They don't know what to expect and I don't know what to expect. The Indigenous League was formed to bring together young women who have moved from their family homes in the countryside to the city in search of a better life. League co-founder Angel has followed the team since they started. Hi. Hi. As Cara doesn't speak Spanish, he'll be assisting during her week in charge. Let's chat. Tell me a little bit about the team and what I need to know about them. Well, the team is that uh, they, they need a lot of practice, but you want to like it because they enjoy it a lot. The team know that a former Olympian is on the way. Now it's time for them to meet. Hola. Hola. <laughs> I hope you're excited. I'm excited to teach you some of the basketball that I've used um, to become an Olympian. Let's win at the end of the week. As the team have never been coached, Kara's starting with the basics. Wrist back. My elbow never comes out. It's always in line with my knee. You're gonna spread your hands and put the ball with the lines going this way into your hand. Yes, even though you missed, even though you missed, that was good form. Look at that! Look at that! It's very amable and has a lot of patience. Like the rest of the women, team captain Lupita came to Chihuahua for the chance of a better life. Pues yo me vine aquí a la ciudad a trabajar porque pues mi mamá ya no podía pagar para los estudios. Pues si hubiera podido, pues hubiera estudiado, pero pues no, no se pudo, entonces me vine a trabajar a los 15 años. 12 años ya que estoy aquí. Me mudé para pues para vivir mejor y pues no sufrir tanto hambre. Yo ahorita si juego básquet es para no andar tomando ahí o estar pues Para tener algo que hacer, para no nomás estar en la casa. It's the end of the first session, and any nerves Cara or the team had have now vanished. Now, this is when we bring it in for a huddle, and you have to get as tall as me. Arrímense, arrímense, no tengan miedo. Come on, 
Levanta toda la mano. Levanta toda la mano hacia arriba. Hacia arriba. Right. Can you tell them they have to say dream big? Dream, dream big! big. Woohoo! Good job, ladies. We'll see you tomorrow. Porque aprendí pues, cosas que no sabía. No por ejemplo, tirar los tiros, pero los tirar los tiros como sea. Y a uh, dar los pases. <laughs> For her second training session, Kara is looking to further the team's understanding of the game by teaching proper positioning, a concept that's entirely new to them. I'm going to try to throw in a little more at them and just teach them basically positions. During a game, the five players on court can be substituted at any time, something made very much easier if they know their positions. This would be one, the point guard. Esta sería la número uno, el coreback. This would be two. Esta posición sería la número dos. And she's your shooting guard. Norma, tres. Norma es la número tres. <laughs> she's your wing. And down here. Y aquí abajo. This is called. Esto se llama the post. El poste. So, this is the way the floor should look. Spread out like this. <laughs> We're going to try the offense. All right, let's go. I got you. Garden you. <laughs> Pass. Come up. Teaching yeah. basic <laughs> plays and positioning should vastly improve the girls' game. Screen, screen her. See. However, it's not working. Norma. Screen down. Screen, screen down. Screen. Lupita. She doesn't want to move. They're not staying with their player. Do they sí. not understand how to play defense at uh -huh. all? Or? No. It was difficult for me because I never had done that. I never had taught that. So it was very difficult. A little frustrated. Uh, just not even at them at the whole situation. Because I just want to help so much. You just see what they go through. We see everything and I just want to help. And it's a frustration of realizing that I'm not going to be able to help as much as I want to and as quickly as I need to. But I am going as basic <laughs> as I can do. Kara has just two days left to coach El Palomar. Having taught the team correct passing and shooting techniques, Kara now wants to work on their dribbling. When you dribble, you want to keep the ball as low as possible. It's on your fingertips and never flat-footed. So you're going to try to get as low as you can when you practice and do this. Dribble and try different fingers when you're practicing. You want to do that with your head up. Everybody grab a ball. A good dribbler keeps their eyes on the court, never down on the ball, to make the most of every opportunity. I'm going to hold up my hand and put up a number. Uno, dos, tres. You have to yell out the number that I'm holding up. It makes you keep your head up. We ready? That's to keep you from using your hands. You have to use your feet. So Norma, you're dribbling right with your right hand, left with your left hand, going all the way down. But this time, she's in front of you playing defense. This drill teaches the team to defend without physically blocking their opponent, which should also reduce the number of fouls they commit. I definitely see improvement. They're still giggly, but they're um, they're learning. You can see kind of the light bulb going on and they're getting better today for sure.
It's the day before the two league games that will decide if El Palomar reach the playoffs for the very first time. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo está? Bien. Yeah, muy bien. Muy bien. Yeah. <laughs> Today's the last day, and I'm sad because I have so much more I still want to teach you. Go get it. Muy bien. Elvis. There you go. Get the ball back. There you go. Muy bien, muy bien. When you turn, keep it up. Go ahead. Keep it up. Good. This will help in the game because they have, oftentimes they bring it down and the ball gets knocked away. If I can teach them to keep it up and then pass it, they can go down the floor quicker. Estoy contenta que esta semana Ricardo nos ha entrenado y pues porque aprendimos mucho. Uno, dos, tres, dreaming. There you go. Sí, sí, pienso que tenemos una buena oportunidad de ganar. El Palomar are about to play two games that will decide if they make the playoffs. They need to win both. Their first opponents are the Orquidas. Just one place apart in the league, there's everything to play for. You have done such a good job this week. There's no reason you can't beat that team. You have to believe up here you can beat that team. You have to believe it. Try to remember some of the things that I taught you this week. Now let's go kick some butt. Orquidas score first, but El Palomar are quickly on the attack. And some solid passing brings things level. With two minutes to go, the scores are tied and El Palomar are on the break. Yes, shoot! Arriba! The rebound! Cecilia! At the start of the second quarter, the team have substituted some of their best players and Orquidas sees the opportunity to level the score. They have to, they have to keep their hands up on defense. The quarter ends, El Palomar 7, Orquidas 10. One of the biggest things you guys are doing, you're making these crazy passes, and you, the person receiving the pass is standing there, so it gets stolen. Cara's training is paying off. A three-point shot from Inez levels the score. Two minutes later, and she does it again. Another three points. And by the end of the quarter, they're up by one point. Orquida 17, El Palomar 18. It's the start of the fourth quarter. El Palomar have to stay in front for 10 more minutes. The Orquidas aren't giving in yet. A pass from Cecilia to Norma is intercepted. And a minute later, the Orquidas extend their lead further. El Palomar are now two points behind. There's 30 seconds left to play. Lupita shoots. They win the rebound. A short pass from Norma finds Pilar in space, and she takes the shot. Shoot! Yes! El Palomar have won. 24 to 22. Standing between El Palomar and a spot in the playoffs are the second best team in the league, the Estrellas. You guys did an amazing job in the first game. Now you have to find it somewhere deep inside to not be tired and to play the best game of your life. El Palomar have never beaten the Estrellas. They hope with Cara's guidance that can change, but it's not started well. Oh, God. That goes in. Grab it, grab it, Carolina! At the end of the first quarter, El Palomar are behind by just one point. Shoot it! Good! Good screen! Yes!
At the start of the second quarter, the Estrellas come out in force. And it ends with El Palomar down by 10 points at 19 to 9. With 20 minutes to go, the team finds a burst of energy. Baskets from Cecilia. And Alejandra reduced the gap to seven points. It's the last quarter. It's make or break time. At the whistle, Pilar is quick to strike. But Estrellas continue to pressure, and El Palomar is struggling to defend against their tallest players. Come on, we got a rebound! Get back! That's why we have to get back! With 30 seconds left, the team are giving it their all, but can't seem to get the ball in the hoop. It's the end of the match, and despite battling hard, El Palomar have lost 30 to 43, their closest ever defeat to the Estrellas. I'm really proud of you guys. Think about it. You didn't lose by much to the best team in the league. I hope you guys had as much fun this week as I did. Well, for me, muy buena porque pues si supimos mucho en en cómo quitarse y cómo botarla. Looking back now, I am I am so glad I came on this trip. I I just had the best time. And I feel like hopefully I changed their lives a little bit. But I also don't think they know what they did for me.